about to start painting uh, this room. It will be for the children. And although this is adorable for children, um, I have boys and girls, and I will probably make this just a kids uh, kind of guest room for if I have them uh, stay or a kid's nursery, baby's nursery, um, something like that. But anyway, about to start here. Um, it seems to be the theme in this house to repair uh, nail holes and the walls. So that will be my first uh, uh, project to get started on. My husband, uh, JP, has already removed all the baseboards to prepare for getting new floors uh, put in the house. So I'm trying to get all the rooms that have ceilings that need to be painted. So uh, that way if I drip, I'm not dripping on my new floors. And uh, this is going to be taken up anyway, so I don't mind uh, you know, doing any damage to this. Um, this uh, room has a closet, so I will be uh, just kind of freshening it up, probably the pole paint, maybe a shelf. I'm not sure yet, I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna do in there, but I uh, want to get painting done. So um, my first project, holes and patches in the walls, and uh, remove all these plates, and then I can start painting. All right, just thought I'd show you a before and after. Um, by the way, those stars are all stick-on stars, so I'm going to be doing a lot of peeling, so, and then probably repair, <laughs> so, all right, getting started on this room. Progress. Losing a little bit of heaven right here. So here's the after of the ceiling fan. I scraped all the blue paint off the top cap up there and repainted the whole uh, base and it should match my door hardware and stuff that's going to be going on all the doors and uh, cleaned up the blades and the light fixtures, the globes. Um, Looks like Bella came in to visit uh, as well to see what I'm doing. She likes to fly around, see what's going on. <laughs> About to start on this project. It's the under the stairs closet. And it doesn't look too bad until you get closer up. Number five in the different flooring choices, I think. exactly the best condition. The walls are not in great condition. So we're going to patch and repair all of that. Nine million holes and screws. And let's see what I can turn this into other than a coat closet because there's another coat closet just across from here. So we're getting the floors in and they sand the concrete, the slab, get any glues and anything off of it that's on it. And this layer of dust is on everything. And I'll turn you around here and show you that this is what they've been doing. 
I have nowhere to go in this house that isn't in this condition. This is the uh, front library, but they've got all their um, wood floor and all their supplies in there. And their equipment throughout the house. And then with this room right here, which is the front parlor, they've got all their baseboards stacked up. We have our furniture stacked uh, everywhere, but this one the corner, there's another room. Uh, that way, the dining room, but it's uh, packed all the way up to here. So I've been sitting in that chair um, in this little corner right here with my computer, or I'm outside doing outside stuff. There's a couch uh, behind this stack of furniture in the corner, so sometimes um, I crawl up on there and take a little nap, but uh, because I can't do uh, much of anything, I do try to go outside and do some outside work, but uh, oh, it's been a, a mess. And here's the stairs that they've ripped carpet off of. I did get uh, walls painted and doors and trim painted. And that's about as far as we have gone. Just thought I would show everyone a little bit of the construction zone, which this is the backyard. This is the demoing of the house. Uh, some bathroom tubs and pieces and parts. And uh, it's kind of scattered all back here until we're ready to get it all loaded at once. Uh, and hauled off so uh, we have installed uh, the little greenhouse the little garden will be over here and the chicken coop was installed so we'll be turning that into the coop and then we're going to build the chicken run uh, right over here beside that and pretty much everything is still the same in the backyard um, we are going to um, move the boat. We did bring the boat over just recently, so uh, there's a gate. It'll go through here and then to the other side over here where there's a little driveway that it'll uh, go in on that side. But other than uh, the house being a total disaster right now, not much is going on, so um, you know, nothing uh, pretty has been done yet. It's mostly the demolition of everything. Uh, the flooring people are in there right now installing floors and I can't really get in there. So when they do that, um, I either go sit in my car or if it's a nice day, I come out here and uh, work in my little greenhouse and draw up plans for my uh, chicken coop. But uh, unless you're looking for um, a video on how to create the biggest mess ever. <laughs> I think I've got you covered for that one. But um, anyway, this is the point we're at. And once we start getting to the fun and pretty parts of uh, this renovation, I'll be putting out more videos. Bye, my friends, and have a blessed day.